Welcome to this introductory lecture on social psychology. So first, let's get some definitional ideas out of the way. Um, so as I've mentioned in the welcome video, social psychology is the study of the intersection of society and the individual. Um, but it's worth noting that there are two main approaches to studying social psychology. So there's a, what we might call the sociological approach to social psychology and the psychological approach to social psychology. And that's because this uh, area of study is sort of a bridge or an overlap area between the two fields of sociology, the study of society, and psychology, right, the study of the mind. So what's the difference in their emphasis? Uh, well, uh, psychologists will tend to study uh, at the micro, uh, individuals, cognition, personality, the origins of attitudes and behaviors and things like that, whereas sociologists tend to study more at the macro, right? So social institutions, social structures, um, and what they're looking for is also a little bit different as well. So a sociologist uh, might look at individuals, uh, but they want, they're doing that for the purpose of understanding uh, more about group interactions, group behavior, um, why uh, people in certain settings might behave a certain way, right? Maybe that leads to social movements or the formation of uh, or weakening of social institutions, all right? So things like norms, uh, where do those come from? Uh, how are people socialized into a culture, right? So they'll, they'll look at the individual for the purpose of understanding interactions between individuals. Uh, so intra-individual for the purpose of understanding inter-individual. Uh, whereas psychology tends to do the opposite. They might look at group interaction and group behavior, uh, but it's mainly for the purpose of understanding what's going on in the minds of individual people, right? So if, they're, if you're in a group setting, how does peer pressure work on you? And how does your individual personality interact with social settings and groups? Um, so there's sort of that macro-micro difference, right? There's the uh, studying individuals for the purpose of understanding group interaction versus studying group interaction for the purpose of understanding individuals, inter versus intra personal study. Um, and, you know, they tend to use slightly different uh, theory and literature. So if you're so, uh, trained as a sociological social psychologist, you tend to pull from sociological literature. Uh, and if you're a psychological social psychologist, you tend to pull from psychological literature. Uh, there are some areas of overlap, of course, but um, there are some differences, even in methodology. So both will pretty commonly use surveys, uh, but you'll see psychologists use a lot more lab type experiments where sociologists will you tend to use more uh, interviews or field observations, ethnography, you know, kinds of qualitative approaches like that. Um, so the, those are just a few of, of the differences. Uh, as for this class, I want you to get both perspectives. And so the way I've done that is I picked a textbook uh, that is written by a psychological social psychologist, uh, but I'm trained as a sociological social psychologist. So I'll be giving commentary uh, from that other side. Uh, your midterm and your final uh, also uh, allow you to draw um, from essays from prominent sociological social psychologists, but I've also selected a bunch of videos for you to watch throughout the course from prominent psychological social psychologists. So luckily in this class, you don't have to pick, you don't have to go out and take this again from a psychologist. You'll get both perspectives. Um, and I think you'll see that there's a, a, a fascinating illumination actually when you uh, look at social psychology from both of those angles.